Hello and welcome to the session. Today I'll help you with the following question. The question says, Fabina borrows rupees 12,500 at 12% per annum for 3 years at simple interest and Radha borrows the same amount for the same period at 10% per annum compounded annually. Who pays more interest and by how much? Now we know the formula for amount is A is equal to P multiplied by 1 plus R upon 100 whole to the power N where A is the amount P is the principal, R is the rate, N is the number of years, also compound interest CI is equal to Amount A minus the principal P. And also the simple interest SI is equal to P multiplied by R multiplied by T upon 100. Where P is the principal, R is the rate and T is the time. Now this is the key idea for this question. Now let's move on to the solution. Now first let's find the interest paid by Fabina. Now in this case, the principal P is equal to rupees 12,500. Now rate R is equal to 12% per annum time T is equal to 3 years. Now it's given in the question that Fabina borrows the amount at simple interest. Now we have the formula for simple interest SI is equal to P multiplied by R multiplied by T upon 100. Now we will substitute the values for P, R and T in this case. So we have simple interest SI is equal to rupees 12,500 multiplied by 12 multiplied by 3 total upon 100. Now these two zeros and these two zeros gets cancelled and we are left with rupees 125 multiplied by 12 multiplied by 3 and this is equal to rupees 4500. So we have simple interest is equal to rupees 4500. Therefore, interest paid by Fabina is equal to rupees 4500. Now we shall calculate the interest paid by Radha. Now in this case also the principal P is equal to rupees 12500. Rate R is equal to 10% per annum compounded annually time n is equal to 3 years now it's given in the question that in Radha's case the interest is compounded annually so we will be using the formula for amount in this case the given formula for amount is A is equal to P multiplied by 1 plus R upon 100 whole to the power N. Now we will be substituting the values for the principal P, rate R and time N. So this becomes equal to rupees 12,500 multiplied by 1 plus 10 upon 100 whole to the power 3. 
Now this zero and this zero gets cancelled. So this becomes equal to rupees 12,500 multiplied by 11 upon 10, the whole cube. Now this is further equal to rupees 12,500 multiplied by, now 11 cube is 1,331 upon 10 cube is 1,000. Now these two zeros and these two zeros get cancelled and so we have rupees 125 multiplied by 1331 total upon 10 and this is equal to rupees 166375 total upon 10 which further is equal to rupees 16000 637.50 So we have the amount A is equal to rupees 16,637.50 And now the compound interest CI is equal to amount A minus principal P and that is equal to rupees 16,637.50 minus rupees 12,500. And so this is equal to rupees 4,137.50. So the compound interest CI is equal to rupees 4,137.50. Therefore, interest paid by Radha is equal to rupees 4137.50. Now the difference in interest paid by Fabina and Radha is equal to the interest paid by Fabina that is rupees 4500. Minus interest paid by Radha, that is rupees 4137.50. And this is equal to rupees 362.50. Now as you can see, interest paid by Fabina is rupees 4500, which is obviously more than the interest paid by Radha, which is rupees 4137.50. So we say that Fabina pays more interest than Radha. And hence our final answer is, Fabina pays rupees 362.50 more. So hope you enjoyed the session. Have a good day.